Hey, what's going on Machine Masters? My name is MG The Future. Thank you for joining us on this channel today. Today I will be using Studio One version four, and I want to talk a little bit about chord progressions, and in particular, writing your own change-ups, turnarounds, or bridges. There's many ways you can do that, but I think Studio One gives us some pretty interesting and power tools to make this um, easy to visualize and very easy to execute. So the first thing I want to do is, imagining I'm not using a MIDI controller, to draw a chord block and create a basic triad. So on your instrument, in this case I have Omnisphere, which is a piano patch. I want to double click here and this is going to create an empty MIDI clip. And what I want to do is I want to make one chord per bar type of deal. Although I'm in 150 beats per minute, these are actually like half bar intervals, but don't worry about that. So for most chord progressions, especially in pop and R&B, you're going to have four chords. So one here, two, three, four. Right. So my first block with my piano roll open, I'm going to double click on C. And then from the C chord, I'm going to create a, just a basic triad. So I'm going to go to E, holding Alt, or Option on Mac, and then G. This will give me the basic C major chord. I'm going to shorten this chord. And then I'm going to take this and copy it four times, so one chord per bar. Now, in order to get these to change into a chord progression, I'm gonna have to turn follow chords. So right here, under your info tab, do follow chords parallel. With parallel on, across the top, this little music note, that is our chord track. I wanna double click and create four chords. And I'll duplicate that four times as well. And as you can see, it automatically updates the chords at the bottom. For this demonstration, I'm gonna work in the key of C major. And on my first chord, I'm gonna choose C major. And I'm going to do a really basic pop type progression, just moving clockwise within the circle of fifths. As you can see, I'm going from C to G to A minor to F. Let's hear what that sounds like. Really cool, right? So if you don't have a MIDI controller or you're not very familiar with the music theory of writing chords, this particular tool helps a whole lot. But the real sauce is how do you change that and go into a different scale, or how do you change that and do something in a different key? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these parts over one. I'll create some new chord blocks, and I'm gonna work on an independent chord progression. And the best way to do that is to look at the scale you're in and pick a neighboring scale. For instance, if we're going C, G, A, B minor, F, you can start on C, and instead of using these six chords, use these six chords over here, which will put us in the key of F major, technically. So let's do that. Let's walk through that. So I'm going to go to C, which is the first one of my main progression. I'm going to go to D minor. I'm going to go to B flat, and then I'm going to end on F, very similar to our original progression. And because it connects back to C flawlessly, it'll go around in a perfect circle. So let's do this. So you'd use that if you want to break in your song, like the pre-chorus before the hooks or the bridge section itself. So let's run these all together. And there's another variation you can do that I'll show you guys as well. I'm gonna copy this over and copy this over and I'm gonna remove or change this section here. Now in this section, instead of just picking a neighboring chord, because we could do it the other way too, let's do that real quick. Let's go to E minor instead, up to D to G, and we can end on C because we left off of on F. So check this out. you want as long as you're in a neighboring scale and that's what I call it there might be a different name for it it's a type of modal interchange but there's a hundred ways to go about it so I'm gonna show you another way to go about it just so that you have a lot of ideas to work with especially if you want to get into making your music uh, more musical I guess we got our C progression for C major and here instead of borrowing C's chords and reusing C because it kind of sounds the same we're gonna flex on them completely we're gonna go a half step down from our last chord in our progression, which was F. A half step down from that is gonna be E, which is also a cross, right? So F can go to E flawlessly. Now we gotta bring E back into the scale where F is or C is, right? So the one right next to E is A. 
And of course, our scale uses A minor, so we can use A minor. Change the gender of the chords completely, and then you can finish using chords next to A minor, which could be D minor or F. It doesn't matter what we do, because it's all going to come back to our C at the very end. So that's that Dr. Luke Max Martin, real quick trickery. And of course, if you want to make it even deeper than that, you can. You can change the flavors of these by adding sevenths to them and making them six chords instead. And on your last chord, a really cool one that a lot of people do is make it a dominant seven. So there's a lot of cool ways to go about it. That's completely up to you. I just want to give you some exposure and context for you to experiment with the circle. Just remember, you can leave this scale and go to a neighboring scale just by crisscrossing and having chords that touch each other as you move through these different scales. Or you could jump to a whole different side of the circle just by going a half step down. So for the instance of C, we can go back and make that one B. And for the instance of G, we can go back and make that one G flat, etc. And then borrow the chords and climb your way back up to the original note that you're in. A myriad of different ways. But hopefully you guys find that useful. Again, I'm MG the Future. Thank you for watching us on the Machine Masters. If you're on social media, you can definitely follow us. I'm at MG the Future on Twitter and Instagram. Also, there's at Machine Masters. Until next time, guys, peace.